Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we're going to walk you through how to set up the frequency of the VFT GK9000 to 400Hz. So let's get started. Step 1. You need to power on this VFT unit. Remove the cover on the terminal block and make the connection as shown here. Ensure the unit is properly connected to a reliable power source and the control panel is accessible. Step 2. Locate the frequency control settings on the control panel. So this is the organization of our control panel. Be aware that the settings may vary based on the specific model you are using. Please refer to the product menu for precise instructions. Step 3. Let's adjust the frequency setting to 400Hz. Press the menu button to enter the menu settings. The first parameter series is coded as P0. Press enter to activate the code input mode. Use the navigation keys to enter parameter code P0.21, which represents the frequency command resolution. Press enter again to confirm and get into it. Change the number from 2 to 1 and press enter to confirm, such that the frequency resolution has been adjusted from 0.01 Hz to 0.1 Hz. To enter the control mode, we're going to use the navigational buttons to change it into P0.00. Under this parameter, we're going to change the number from 1 to 0. That is to say, we use V slash F control rather than sensorless vector control. Confirm and escape from it. And we're going to look at parameter P0.01, which allows you to select the main frequency source. Changing it from 0 to 1 means you want it to be retentive and power failure. Coming back, we're going to check out parameter P0.03 to decide on the command source. By changing 1 to 0, we've decided to use the operation panel to control the VFD. Next up is P0.04. This is available for you to determine the rotation direction, either same or reverse. Parameters P0.05 and P0.06 respectively represent the max frequency of this model and the frequency upper limit you'd like to set. In this case, both of them are required to be modified into 400 and confirmed. As to P0.07, you're going to set the lower limit. So we're going to have 0 Hz as our initial point. After that, let's navigate to parameters P0.12 and P0.13 separately to address the acceleration and deceleration time. Both have been set to be 20 seconds. Now that we've finished on the part of P0 coded parameters, let's go over to P8 series parameter settings. As to the P8 series of parameter settings, make adjustments based on the specs nameplate on the specific model. Hit the ESC button and return to the main interface. Using the input dial, carefully increase or decrease the frequency until it reaches the desired value of 400Hz. Let's perform a test run to ensure it operates smoothly at 400Hz. And you can see the frequency value on the display screen begins to change and continues to increase until it reaches 400Hz. Now the frequency of the VFD has reached the maximum value we've set. Using the knob, you can address the frequency from high to low. This indicates that the frequency control mode of this VFD has been changed to panel control. Now if we press the stop reset key, the frequency value will gradually decrease from the maximum value to zero. And that wraps it up for our video. When dealing with the setup process, remember to follow safety procedures and guidelines. If you encounter any issues or unexpected behavior, consult the product menu or reach out to our technical support team for assistance. Thank you for watching our demo video. We hope this tutorial has been informative and helpful. For more information and support, please visit our website or contact our customer service. Stay tuned for more instructional videos. Have a great day.